Hey Nyaku here, welcome to OB Studios. Um, in today's video, we, we are not building, we are, we are going to look at a design. Um, I think probably a day or two ago, maybe three days ago, depending on what day you're watching it. But I did, um, I was talking about a website called Page Builder Summit and they had, they had um, a summit coming on that included 30 plus um, industry expert people who were uh, influential in the WordPress community going to speak on all matters, um, things on WordPress. So I thought it was nice. So I visited their website and to be frank, I was disappointed at what they had put out as a representation for the submit that we're doing because Basically, it was a summit to showcase WordPress. So I thought at least the web, um, their website will have a bit of glamour or a bit of touch, but I was disappointed and I did a video on it and people reacted about it and yeah. So in one, in, in one of the comments, someone um, asked what would have been my design approach if I was going to Let's say if I was taxed with building something like that, um, maybe a disclaimer, I am not the best designer, but at least I can put up something that I think is three over 10 or probably four over 10, something that I will think it befits 2023. All right. So, uh, back here into Figma, this is your hero section. So what do you see now on the screen is the hero section. And I'm going to show you two designs that I tried to do to go, um, to go about, or uh, two designs that I thought would have fitted nicely when it came to, when it came to the paid, uh, build the summit. So let's scroll down and then, so this, um, there's my first, um, there's my first take on the design. So over here, my, um, my whole idea was to present something that was straightforward, something that didn't um, include weird background image where which has no bearing on what you're doing, uh, and also um, also fix this whatever this centered because um, this centered button because on mobile I think the reason why they did this centered because on mobile they wanted it to be center. But yeah, I found this whole text to be probably ridiculous. Why? Because first one, you are trying to let people um, take an action, free access to 30 plus industry expert, helping you build better WordPress website faster. All right. It's informational. It is not actionable. So I thought that they would need something more actionable rather than them just giving you information. So in my um, first um, design, what I wrote for the, um, the hero, the hero text is join 30 industry experts and revolutionize what uh, probably I want to put your, let's put your WordPress skills. It is more actionable. It pushes you to somehow take an action, even though you might not want to take the action. And then I also have um, a sub headline text, which says elevate your WordPress development skills today and get exclu um, exclusive insights from top WordPress developers. And then we have a button that says reserve a free ticket, more action. But on the, as you can see that it's informational and there's a date and there's get your free ticket and get your free ticket is action. That is good, but here it doesn't do it just so I thought something more actionable would have been better. All right. And also I did talk about how the, uh, um, their logo was just too big for whatever reason. And they doing this whole, um, I don't know, probably trying to do some 3d stuff over here. Yeah. Probably if you do this, this should be probably the initial state and on the normal state, you should probably flip it so that we can see what the hell is happening there. They didn't do that. They just had, um, 
the images in this 3D state, which is not not good for whatever reason. All right, so over here, I did change the image to be more straightforward. And if I was building this out, I would have made this images scroll. If you scroll, it scrolls left and right, and then like that. And then I also put the date over here to make it more, more visible. And then I gave it a background color of green to make sure that it stands out a bit. So that was my idea for the first design. I'm going to show you the second design. So let's go down to the second design. All right. So this is the second design that I went for. Um, so with this design, it is more 2023 ish. There's gradient here and there. Um, the, what do you call it? The website images are hidden behind. And also I'm going to add, if I was building this out, I, I, I was also going to add a scroll effect to it. So that when you scroll up, it, when you scroll down, it goes up. And when you scroll up, it goes down. So that was my idea for the second design. So, um, so these are my two designs. What do you think about these designs? Are they worse off than what we do have here? Or are they at least more modernized? And do they have a bit of attitude? Would you copy anything from that, from both designs, which is this design and this design? Which one would you say is, um, is at least five over 10? If not, um, if not two, at least, which one would you pick if you were going for a website or uh, if you're going, if you were in charge of approving designs for page builder submit 2023? All right. Um, yeah, you can leave your, your comments in the comment section. Um, yeah. And then probably you should also let them know that I redesigned their, um, their hero section. If they wanted, if they wanted, I can send them it. I can send them the design and they can use it. But since the conference is already going on, probably they might not want that. But we can do something for 2024. Hey, Page uh, Builder Summit, let's do something for 2024. Um, my name is Nyakon. This is OB Studio. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, you can give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can also give us one more subscription and I would sing your name aloud. All right. Thank you very much for watching.